and I'm going to show you exactly what you can do on this little piece. <laughs> hey, did you spend any time going over your bike? Do you have a toolkit or anything? I'm not bringing any tools, dude. That's not a good idea. I don't care. I, I hate this idea. Welcome to our brand new internet series called Drop the Clutch. I'm Spurgeon and this is my associate, Stephen Cameron. And I'm Steve Cameron with Drop the Clutch. I just said that. So if you're not familiar with Drop the Clutch, Drop the Clutch is gonna be a fun new web series we're gonna put together, getting our friends out, you know, showing what you can do when you get your ass off the couch to ride a motorcycle, especially in off-road settings. So today for this inaugural episode, we came out here to the Pine Barrens 500. And it is a three-day off-road big bike rally in the wilds of New Jersey. And you know us typically for riding these big, large adventure bikes. Today, we're gonna do something a little bit differently. Yeah, our producers gave us $1,000 and told us to buy bikes and prove that you can do some adventure riding on the cheap. So what do we get? A pair of DRZ 250s and 200s. And really what the idea here is that we're gonna show the world that you don't need to spend a lot of money to get outside and have some fun riding off-road. Personally, I think it's going to be a lot of fun today. Steven, on the other hand, doesn't feel the same way. I think this is a horrible idea. <laughs> I've got a lot of money, so I can have a big adventure bike. <laughs> I mean, I've got so much cash, I can spend it on anything I want, says the guy that just bought a brand new 1090 anyway. So the idea here is that we're going to go out, we're going to see how far we can get. With my bike, about $1,000 maxed out, so I didn't have any money left over to swap tires. Steve was actually able to get his little 200 and have a little bit of cash left over to put some appropriate tires on. So we'll see how far I can get running street tires on this thing. We actually got some of our friends to come along today for the ride. This is about as cheap as you can get when it comes to adventure bikes. Maybe your bike is so unhappy. Yeah, it's almost as unhappy as I am, man. Whoa, I stalled it. <laughs> so my initial thoughts after the first blast of deep sand is that these things are like cheating. I think I'm just gonna throw mine away. <laughs> this is like way too easy. Yeah. I'm riding like an idiot, like I'm making no mistakes. I should be dead by now. I want to buy this bike. <laughs> Nerd! So I think the rear shock on this bike is blown. I think everything on this bike is blown, but god damn it! <laughs> oh, you don't want to come over that too fast. We have no traction with these tires. <laughs> oh, there we go, a little, little bit of traction. How far is the route today? 140 something. Okay. We, we ain't doing that, are we? Uh, no, we are uh, less, we're just over 10 miles in. Oh, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> so far, we're about 12 miles into a 140 mile day. So I would say going has been slow, but we're having fun. We're slightly behind schedule, but we've passed a bunch of people already. There's no fun. I've never felt had. like we look dorkier on motorcycles. True. But, but it's so yeah, easy. We look like nerds, adventure yeah. nerds. I do wish that I would have picked different tires. That's probably the one regret that I have right now is that I didn't invest in something my, other than My tire time. choice has been the best decision I've made in this whole thing. Signing up has been the worst. <laughs> Getting there. That. <laughs> you shouldn't be allowed to have that much fun on a bike. How's it going, Will? Like for real stock? Yeah. Let's see if you can get it off yourself. Nobody help him! Yeah! You were so fun to watch on that thing. I just got a text message from the producer. They say we aren't having enough fun. It's fair, yeah. And I, we, we have to do a front wheel skid contest. So we're trying to figure out who can lock up the front wheel the longest? Yeah. This will be where we start at. Okay, you ready? One, two, three. 
great. So you want to try that again? I have one. Dude, you didn't even, that's me. I know. You didn't even skid. I was so good with modulating the front brakes, I didn't even have to skid. That's not a skid contest. I won. You're a cheater. This is how you do it. So we just got done lunch, we're about 40 miles in. We got another 100 to go. So we've had a few setbacks this morning. Uh, Monty got a flat tire. I've had some issues in my throttle, but I would say that the DRZ250 is probably the better buy at this point. Uh, a little bit better power, a little bit better suspension, but we're both out here, we're having a good time, we're having some fun, and we've got about 30, no, I'm sorry. We've done about 30 miles so far. We've got, we've got about 100 miles to go, and we've got about three hours to get there. So we need to see if we can make it to the end before it gets dark. I'm gonna think about it, it's 100 miles in three hours which is 33 miles an hour, which is almost my bike's top speed. Mathematically, Stephen Camerad is quite the wizard. Mm. Math whiz. Yeah, I mean, we're not doing too bad if we can continue at this pace. We might, we might make it in time back to the hotel. I mean, we're hauling pretty good at this point as long as we don't have anything that goes wrong, but I'm having a great time. So worst comes to worst, we hop on the road, head back to the hotel, crack a few beers, I'll help you get over there too. I can't get it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! The fuck was that? Uh oh. There we go. Yeah, I just got a text. It says they want to see some whoops. Tell the producer to go fuck themselves. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Let's not get fired. The producer wants whoops. They got to get it. Here we go. DRZ 200 foot hook. Sell the tiger, man. You don't need it anymore. You got your new ride. <laughs> oh, I'm down. You're down, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Dude, you could not get away with that on an adventure bike. No, you'd be dead. All right, I'm gonna try to scrub some of these whoops. There you go, the old father scrub. <laughs> I can't stand how much fun these stupid bikes are. How's that adventure bike treating you? Kicking my ass. Keep it moving, man. Made it back. All right, so we've just wrapped up our first day of the Pine Barrens 500 and we did it on small bikes. Now the one thing that we've clearly not done is done the 140 miles. I think we've probably tackled about 70 miles Yeah, today. maybe 50. So, I mean, this is completely a new riding experience for us. We weren't out there on big bikes, taking it like a big bike challenge. Instead, we were just out goofing around having fun. <laughs> yeah, like really free-spirited kind of time. You don't have to go out there with a mission to just crush all the miles and, and try to bring it home. You we can just... had a bunch of like-minded friends with us and they all, they all took it the same way. So, yeah. I mean, the real story, the real takeaway here is that whether you have a $15,000 adventure bike or you've got just a $1,000 beater bike that you picked up on Craigslist, anybody can get off the couch and go out and have fun with their friends. So our producers at Sub 35 wanted to know two things. One, when we trade our adventure bikes in for smaller bikes, <laughs> not a chance. And the other thing was, was, when can they get their bikes back? They're not getting these bikes back, we're keeping them. These are pretty fun. Yeah. All right, so we got some beers to drink and our crippled friend back there, Michael Plazer on the crutches, uh, he's got a wonderful dinner prepared for us. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna drink some beers and we're gonna have some fun. Thanks for uh, coming along for yeah. the ride today. We'll see you out there next time. Please just go, I'm tired.
some warm ups. Yeah. Bread leather, bread leather, bread leather, bread leather, bread leather. Bread leather. 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 You, we just gotta be professional. Perfect. Yeah, I don't want it to I don't want it to be rubs. And I'm Steve Camrad from the internet. And I'm Spurge. That's what makes it good. You just stop. Hey! Shut the hell up! <laughs> I done fucked up. Or just like What's up, Mitch? How you doing, man? Good, man. Nice gloves. Oh, yeah, dude. This is how we roll. Honey, yeah. like, you can set it up to do, like... All right, we got to get going. We get about 40 miles. Today. Things, things are going. We got about 40 miles. We just dump the clutch, and it goes right. I am. All right, just stop. You know, that was... Please, shut the fuck up. You huh? got to shut the fuck up. Go, go. Look at me. I'm a Pine Brand 500 rider and I love to see I dumped the clutch and laughed. So we're just going to ride these for the rest of the weekend? Mm -hmm. I'm riding fucking my bike, dude. Look I don't know, man. I think maybe we should just ride these for the rest of the weekend. I'm not riding that crappy 200 for the rest of the weekend. Look at, look at my bike, dude.